first of all, before I start this video, I want to give a big shout out to Kai Rain. Boy, you the one. I freaking love you. Big shout out from myself for being a huge supporter of my videos. I cannot do this without you, and I thank you. You the one. Give me a pound. Boom. What's going on, guys? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back with my Wizard World 2018 video. I did not go last year because I was broke as hell, but now your boy got a job, so your boy can go to places. I can't go far, but I can still go. I can go to places. If I met you, I love you. If I hugged you, I love you. We're going to talk about that later on. Hit subscribe for more weekly nerdy videos. I had a blast. I went on Sunday. I could only go on Sunday because I had to take care of my grandmother on Saturday. So I went on Sunday to see my boy Tyler. I met him at ACBC like two, three years ago. And we've been like bros ever since. So it's just been like texting and talking and stuff like that. And I met up with him and my other friend Nikki Chu cosplay. I love her face. I love it so much. I had so much fun. If you want to see the pictures, the pictures are on my Facebook like page, which is in the description. Um, but when I met up with them, my other friend Max, and we were just touring around, you know, having a blast at the convention. It was Sunday, so you know stuff. Oh, this is also going to have parts of Hall video. So, I just want y'all to know about that. But, um... Uh, we get there, and it's usually, you know, my thing. You guys know. I'm really social, so I've been talking to people, you know. Getting pictures, talking to cosplayers. Just walking around, you know, enjoying shit. I want you guys. Hold on, I'm gonna zoom. Fuck. I want you guys to look me in the face when I say this. I don't ever want you guys to go to a convention and tell yourself the following sentence. I'm not gonna spend no money. Don't say that stupid shit if you go into a convention. Because you're going to spend some fucking money. Tell yourself you're not going to spend any money. Tell yourself you're not going to spend it. And watch it go. Because I fell into the best trap and the worst trap of my life. I spent the money. Just wait till you see what I got, though. I got this bad boy right here. I got this bad boy. Y'all know I love me some plastic wood and fake shit. So don't start at me with them comments. This is the fucking staff, you know, fucking, uh, fucking King's Guard, T'Challa, fucking, I love how this looks. And it was straight as hell. I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't buy it if it wasn't straight, you know. That's how I like my stuff. Wink, wink. Move. Ooh. Boom. Ya boy bought home Oathkeeper from Game of Thrones. Your boy had to. First of all, it was Sunday, so a lot of this stuff I got at even lower rates because I was like, bro, it's Sunday. Hook a brother up. It's not haggling. Just, you know, asking to see if you can do some stuff. Hold on now. Ah, I want half your shit. Lucille. Lucille. I love this thing. It's plastic. I'm going to be Negan for Halloween. All you gotta do is get a red ascot or scarf. <gasps> I have one. It's an Iron Man scarf. Or ascot. I don't know which. All I know is I'm gonna have me some fun on Halloween. I'm gonna go up to the kids and be like, You! I won't have your bleep. Cause you're kids. Give me half your bleeping candy. Oh, I get so arrested. What'd I do? I would do that though. I would just be like, You! Your candy. I want half of it. You make my dirty girl mad. But, uh, I had a great day. You know, it was great seeing Tyler. I haven't seen him in so long. And, you know, I got to meet Nikki. I got to meet Max. And we just hung out at the convention. We walked around. I saw a lot of celebrities. I did see a lot of people. I saw John Berthal. I saw Natalie Dormer. I saw Sean Bean. It was so funny. Somebody was like, why isn't Sean Bean at his booth? I'm like, he died. He died. It's Sean Bean. He dies in mostly everything he's in. So, it's fine. I got to see Ray Fisher. I got to see Ezra Miller. I got to talk to Leo from Charmed. I got to talk to Matt Ryan, the Constantine. See, that's the thing. It, it, it depends on the celebrity. Because I was like, if there was anybody I was going to talk to, it was going to be Matt Ryan. Because in case y'all didn't know, I got to meet and interview him for Constantine. So, they were trying to stop me. I was like, me and Matt go way back. And we do. 
We really do, though. Me and Matt go way back. I was like, gimme, gimme, gimme. And we were talking, and I was like, you can single-handedly save Lucifer if you just point out something that you and Tom Ellis need to be on the same screen together. And I told him that to his face. And we, like, we, ex and, I, and I loved him. And I love him still. It's like, I think he kind of remembered me. But, like, I gave him my card. So, you know, next time at a convention, if I see him, I'm going to be like, you remember me. But Matt was great. Matt's always a great guy to talk to. Like, if you could, if you can go to a convention at the, and if their lines are empty, and if their people, if, if somebody will let you, like, not... If people will let you talk to them. You can talk to people. I do. And it was great. Got to meet a lot of cool cosplayers. Got to do a lot of cool stuff. And I just had fun. Like, it was so much fun. And it was great because I've been having con fever for a while now. Like, you guys already know. I I've been missing cons. And I'm glad I got to go. Like I said, big shout out to Tyler, Nikki, Max, Arsenio, Nerd Truth. I love you. I love all of you guys. Riot Arsenal, like, everybody there, everybody else that I met, I freaking love you guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the rest of what I bought. This whole video ain't over yet. Also, I met Kit Harrington. I don't care, it was him. You can't tell me otherwise. This was the free comic book day comic that I got for buying comics at that booth. And this was when I told myself again that I wasn't going to spend money until I saw this. Your boy had to bring home the Spawn comic. I literally had to. And if I meet Ted, Todd McFarlane again, he is putting his John Hancock on this. He's just gonna do it. Remember when I said you should uh, you shouldn't spend money? Anything with Dark Phoenix on it. I have to buy it. And. It was right when I was like, okay, guys, I think I'm done spending money, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, th I think I'm good. Nope. Fucking Spawn and Dark Phoenix comic covers. Gotta buy that shit. But it was great. Also, really huge shout out to Max, who drove me home, because I was going to take the bus. I had to leave at 5 o'clock, and, so and so the con was over, and I was like, ugh, I got to go, and they were like, we're gonna go get sushi, and I'm like... I can't, though, because, you know, I got to go back, and he was like, you know, let me do it, and I was like, I fucking love you, thank you, and, you know, I had to buy me some Legos, I bought my mom some Legos, but they're already on her thing, so I can't show those, but I can show the ones that I got, which include, <gasps> Hella! Urgh. Little Lego Hella, boom! Lego Spawn! And again, boom. Lego White Canary. Yeah. Urgh. Lego White Canary. Yeah, that is my whole part of the video. I had a blast. It's always great when you go to a convention. Especially because of how I, ha I haven't been there for two years and I haven't seen Tyler in two years. So, it, 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 it was pretty good. Like, having the job helps because I was like, I can't go because I don't have a job. But I did now. And I, I was an adult. First, I paid the bills when they were due in the beginning of the month. So, when I felt bad about spending money, I was like, but the bills is paid. So, it's all good. Plus, I get paid weekly. So, it was, you know, all types of fun stuff. But, like I said, big shout-outs to everybody that I met. Big shout-outs to everybody. Uh, I love you guys. We've got to do this again next year or whenever. But, if you are at Wizard World Philly, I love you. I love you so much. Uh, what did you guys think about the convention? I thought it was smaller than it was when I went there two years ago. It's weird. Like, it felt fuller, you know, if that makes any sense. Like, I felt like the celebrity area was way bigger, unless there was, like, secret parts of it that we didn't know about. Because I didn't see Jason Momoa, and I didn't see Stephen Amell. So, for one thing, I'm hurt. I did get to see Natalie Dormer, Sean Bean, and The Punisher, though. So it's like, it kind of balances out, but it's like, that's Aqua Daddy. And that's a Mel Daddy. Like. But all in all, I had a great time. I had a blast, and we went to go get sushi, and it was awesome. I got to meet Ted. Big shout-outs to you, too. Yeah, really huge shout-outs to you. And... You know, uh, me and Max drove uh, back to New York. We were doing like a little carpool karaoke. We were just talking about stuff, and it was fun. And, you know, that Monday I had the con depression because I was like, 
I don't like this real world. The graphics aren't nice. The gameplay sucks. And I want to go back to Sunday. But yeah, it was fun. I had I had me a good old time. I really did. I want to do it more and I want to do it again. But if you guys were there, what did you think about it? If not, what convention are you going to next? Comment down below and let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for your patience and your love that you always show for me. If you want to follow me on social media, my Facebook and Twitch and Twitter and all that fun stuff is down below. I love you all so much. Stay positive, support each other, stay on the grind, and I love and support you the same way you love and support me, but tenfold. Because there's nothing but love up in this community. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Don't forget that. And remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.